Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas responsible for over one quarter of the warming we are experiencing today. Over a 20 year time scale, it is over 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Coal mining accounts for over 10% of anthropogenic methane emissions. Most of those emissions come from underground mines, while about a quarter of these mines classified as metallurgical coal, which is used for steel production. But historically, methane emission data is based on generic emission factors that have been repeatedly showing to be inaccurate. The main focus of this research is to assess methane emission rates from coal mine ventilation shaft using ground-based system. This research campaign is the first of its kind because it brings together atmospheric scientists, mining experts and local mine operators to share all the data needed to transparently compare the different methods and to evaluate current emission reporting. We want to measure as many emission rates as possible. We have three university teams who each bring independent and contrasting measurement techniques. We are here to do something called spectral imaging. So we have this quite large camera here and you might be able to see it, it rotates on the tripod and thus scans a scene above the coal mine ventilation shaft from left to right. And while scanning it collects a lot of data. And from this data we are able to make the methane in the atmosphere visible. So usually methane is not visible for the human eye, but with some technique we are able to do that. This is the methane bloom, the red one here, coming out of the ventilation shaft, which is black in this image. So this is actually one image we took today. And you see how the methane leaves the ventilation shaft and is carried away by the ambient wind conditions. And we also have another instrument here with us in the field, which measures the wind and the wind direction. And it's over there, it's, it's this white box. It has a laser which is pointed upward and is backscattered. And from this information, we can measure wind velocity and wind direction in the profile above us. And those two informations combined give us the emission estimate of the coal mine ventilation shaft. So with that, we can calculate how much methane is leaving the coal mine ventilation shaft. And this is the quantity we're interested in. And we can compare to all the other teams in this campaign. And I think this is one of the most thorough studies which has been done yet to combine different techniques and measurements and see how they compare to each other. Sunlight is our light source. The sun comes in, shines into the instrument. We measure what colors are traveling all the way from the sun to the instrument. This is uh, basically the sun here and at this black spot in the middle we are measuring. And with this technique we can really measure the concentration to the precision of less than a part per billion. Teams from Germany are doing remote sensing. On the other hand, we are doing in situ measurements with our greenhouse gas analyzers. We have one mounted in the car with additional wind measurements, which provide us the data necessary to do a meteorological model. And we can transect the plume and then estimate emission from the mine with that technique. The other instrument is measuring on site from the shaft. After the campaign, scientists continue the work. They analyze the data and summarize the findings in a scientific manuscript. In this way, access to valuable data is made available for the entire global scientific community. So we can use what we learn in these studies and apply this understanding elsewhere. The task of UNEP's International Methane Emissions Observatory, or IMEO, 
is to provide open, reliable and actionable data to those individuals who can act to reduce 150 million tons of methane emissions by 2030. AMIO achieves this by reconciling methane data from scientific measurement studies like this, satellites, robust industry reporting and national inventories. This campaign will contribute by developing data collection methods and of course it will generate emissions data from the coal sector in Poland. To that end, UNEP's AMIO catalyzed the collection, reconciliation and integration of empirically based near real-time methane emission data. We are creating a publicly available dataset that will provide unprecedented climate transparency on methane emissions.